Have you ever envisioned yourself being a content creator or a video editor? If you have, then you're at the right place. Hey friends, it's Queen Karine, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. I am going to be teaching you how to edit using the CapCut app. You can find the link to download the app in my description box below. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the tips and tricks so perfectly edited sit and talk video, just like the one you're watching right now. Are you a business owner, stay-at-home mom, college student, graduate, stay-at-home dad, intern, or an upcoming content creator? Then this video is for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing five basic yet essential features that you need while editing that you need to incorporate in your sit and talk videos as a beginner to have a fabulous video. So get your paper and your pen and start jotting down and let's go straight into editing. First feature we need to incorporate while editing as a beginner for your sit and talk videos are cut and trim. Yes, we need to cut out all the filler words, the butts, the arms, the mm, you know, the empty spaces that makes your video very, very boring. I'm going to be showing you how to cut out this part of your videos and a little bit more. So let's go straight into editing. As you can see, I'm on the CapCut app. So I'm just gonna click on new project and add in the video I want to edit. So you're gonna select the video and click on add. And there you go. So now let's cut and trim this video. Hey friends, it's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. And in this video, I'm going to... Okay, so as you can see, there was a pause over here. So we're going to cut and trim that out. What we're going to do is go to the last thing we said. Game from beginner to pro. Immediately I say pro, that point, you can see the white line. We're going to just click, select the video, click on that place. Click on that exact spot. Don't move that white line to somewhere else. Make sure it's there. Don't move. Don't move the video. Keep it there. Just keep it there. And hit split. That's it. So to cut out, we can cut out a particular part by doing this. Moving to where we started talking again. Hit split again. And then select that particular part and hit delete. Then to trim down to make sure it's aligned listen to it again to pro and in this video I'm oh this is perfect but <laughs> but just in case you trim out too much or you trim not as much let's let's add the features back now that we have hit split let's trim that you just select this place that you want to trim and drag this white to where i'm going to be talking next do you see that? So it's going to be to pro. And in this video, I'm. Yep, that's how to do it. So in case you miss some parts where, okay, you did, there's still a little bit of space here. All you need to do is just drag it. Drag it. Or you select this part. Drag it. If you want to undo, just click on this arrow right here. Undo. Undo, redo, redo. Undo, undo. Undo, redo, redo yeah so that's that the second feature is your auto caption most of the time whenever people watch your videos they're not necessarily looking at you some people love to pay attention to the subtitles yes i'm going to be showing you how to add auto captions using the CapCut app let's go straight into editing this is how to add auto captions on your CapCut app i understand that CapCut is now pro so whether you're using pro or you're using the free version you can still do this so make sure you pay for the pro or I'm going to make another video on how to use the pro version for free. But for now, let's just stick with this. So for those of you who have the paid version or are still using the free version, just click on text, auto caption, and you notice it has selected video. This simply means it's going to generate the auto captions from your video. That's what you say in your video. So you can click on any template and click on generate. This will generate the captions automatically. After the captions have been generated, go through it and you can adjust any mistake. Like you can see now, it says Queen Karen. I'm going to be adjusting my name to Queen Karen because that's not my name. So you just click on the box 
and edit whatever you need to make corrections into. Make sure you take your time to do this. As you can see, it has a lot of errors. Not so much though, but just go through it and make your corrections. After that, you can still select your auto caption and change the font and the styles. You can also adjust the auto captions by enlarging it on the screen or reducing it to whatever size you want. You can drag it to another side like I'm doing on the screen. I dragged it all the way to the other end of the wall. Yes. So you can do whatever you want with this, but make sure you keep it at the level like above or middle chest level, you know, so it doesn't distract your audience. As you can see, the text is all white. So imagine you're wearing a white cloth. The text wouldn't appear well, would it? So we're just going to add a black shadow, like the first one you see. Look from white to black shadow. So it's giving a black background. So if you're wearing a white color and you want to change your font, you don't want to totally change it from white, just add the black shadow. The third feature is background music. Yes, I understand these sit and talk videos are very important and you want people to hear what you're saying. But you cannot just talk your way all through without a little bit of sound at the back to distract your audience but not necessarily distracting them from what you're saying. I'm going to be showing you how to add music, soft music, at the right volume that wouldn't distract your audience, wouldn't bring about noise into your videos and will be just right. Let's get straight into editing. To add background music, all you need to do is click on audio, then click on sound. And here you can select whatever songs you want. First and foremost, I need you to understand that all the music and sounds on CapCut cannot be monetized on YouTube. Not all the sounds. So I want you to look at the ones with free, as you can see on the screen. The ones that are written free, free, free on top. So when you select the album that you want to work with, look for the ones that have free. Now I need you guys to make sure before you post any video, after using music on CapCut, make sure to schedule your video or keep it on private before posting. Then check your YouTube studio if there's any copyright on that video. So you can make the necessary adjustments before reposting. Yes, make sure you check your YouTube studio before posting. Go to Make the video a private video or schedule the video for like an hour or two hours later. Then go back to your YouTube studio. Check if there are no copyrights on it, then it's free to use. Now you want to add a soft song. After adding something calm, all you need to do is just reduce the volume. I use five, three or two when I'm having a suit to talk video because I don't want the sound to overlap with my voice or to be too high. That is very distracting for your audience. Most times you think you're passing a message, but no, people are more concentrated on the song, especially with something very, very catchy. So use something calm and not distracting. Reduce the volume to five, two or three, and you're good to go. If the volume is longer than your video, all you have to do is just hit split and delete the other end that you don't need, as you can see. If your video is longer than the audio, all you have to do is scroll down to where the audio ends, like this empty part, hit split and delete where the song totally stops playing. Then hit duplicate. You can duplicate this as much as you want to fit to the level of your actual video. The fourth feature is audio. Yes, not everyone is privileged to have a microphone like I do, but I can show you how to increase your audio without a microphone. Yes. Do you have noise in your background? Do you have cricket sound? Yes, I'm going to show you how to get rid of all that on CapCut. You don't need a microphone, but if you have one, lucky you. But even if you have one, you still need to enhance your audio. So let's go straight into editing. Now for audio. As we all know, I'm using a microphone on this. So once you're using a microphone, notice that microphones eliminate noise naturally. So all you have to do is just scroll down to where you see reduce noise and turn that on. That will automatically reduce more noise that probably the microphone didn't get out. But even if you're using a microphone or you don't have a microphone, the fastest way to get clear clean and noiseless audio is by clicking on the enhanced audio so we're just going to slide down and click on enhance audio we're going to turn this on and it will automatically enhance your audio by a hundred percent and yes i know the enhanced voice is now a pro feature so if you want to learn how to use the pro feature without paying on CapCut, 
go watch my video on CapCut is now free and learn how to add this without paying. But if you have the paid version, just add that up. Yeah, this is for people that can't afford it right now. Another thing we want to do is increase or decrease volume. So let's just imagine at a point in your video, a particular side was lower than the other side. What we're going to do is to hit split at that part where it began or your voice began to go low and hit split at the end of when your voice was low and then increase just that particular video. Select it and increase the volume so that it can align with the other videos. And then imagine that same video or another part of your video is too loud or extra loud than the other parts of your video. What you want to do is select that same video or that same clip and reduce the volume. That's it. Fifth feature, last feature, but certainly not the least. This feature is the most essential feature. It makes every editing stand out, and that is color grading. This is what makes your videos turn out so fabulous. Add in a little bit of saturation, add in a little bit of contrast. Yes, I'm gonna be showing you how to do all of this, but please note, that everyone's color grading cannot be the same because we have different skin tone and the outfits that we're wearing in our videos are different. So you cannot use the same technique as someone else. You cannot use the same number that someone used as contrast or saturation in your own video. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this so you can do it for yourself. Let's go straight into editing. Color grading technique is different for everyone. So I want you to use this as a guide and do not copy exactly what you see. Just play around with it. So we're going to go to adjust and then we're going to start from contracts, giving it a little more color, making everything black, blacker, make everything pink, pinker, whatever that means. <laughs> so we're just going to be adding contrast, saturation, and most importantly, my best friend, Chapin. <laughs> So let's just increase this a little bit. So let's go to sharpen. Most people like to increase their sharpen to 100, but I do not do that. I recommend 50, 40, 60. Anything above that is just going to make you look more natural. Then we move to our highlight and shadow, highlighting everything, making it brighter or darker. I want you guys to play around with this. This will help you learn color grading for yourself. Because this is not something I said I teach you guys. Like I actually take my time to show you what to do, which I will be doing once I open a surprise for you guys. So you guys can have a one-on-one -on -one contact with me. So make sure you increase your shadow so they're not dark spots. Because when they shadow, it's not nice. Not in pictures, not in videos. This is the technical part. Not really technical, but you see, we're going to pick the pink one. That's the last box at the end because I'm wearing a pink suit. We are going to increase the saturation of that pink to make the pink a little bit pinky. Do you, do, you, do you see what is happening on the screen? Yes. And we're going to reduce the brightness a little bit. I'm also having a little bit of blue on my suit. So I'm going to click on the light blue and I'm going to do the same thing. Increase saturation and reduce the lightning a little bit. I also have a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to do the same thing. Once we are done with all of this I just showed you, you can see the adjust under. You can drag it to fill out all the spaces on the screen of your video. As you can see, that's the before, this is the after. Where the adjust reaches is where it will have effects. So that's why we want to drag it, hold that white spot and drag it all through your videos to the very end. As you can see, it has been applied. And this is how to do color grading. But remember, play around with it by yourself learn to do this by yourself because when you use someone else's color grading yours might turn out worse so but don't worry guys there's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one session with me so get ready we have now come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed every single thing you learned in this video and i can't wait to see your next and first season talk video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share it to someone you know needs it or people you don't even think they need it or will need it once they see it. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to turn on push notification because trust me, you do not want to miss my next video and neither would I. I'll see you guys there. Bye.